What's up guys, Larry Chen here. Welcome to another episode of Hoonigan Autofocus. Today, we're at Pasadena at Genesis, Honda, and Acura. And up, Jason's guys? here. Hi, Jason. Um, he's gonna show us his amazing Civic that actually I saw at Bells and Vaughn, which is just like down the street, just across the street here. Um, they're doing a meet, their monthly meet. And this was parked there in the corner and I just couldn't believe it. I was so excited to see this thing. So I'm not that big of a Honda guy. I don't know too much, but I respect them. I appreciate them. And I love when they're built of era, like in era. Yeah. And especially with the whole Radwood scene and then the 80s and 90s scene kind of coming back, um, this thing stood out to me so much. So what did this start life as? What is this? This is a 85 Honda Civic, um, which would be a EAT, it's a Japanese coat. But anyways, uh, I got this car from my fiance's aunt and uncle. It sat in a garage for 20 years. No way. So it's like a kind of like a barn find, garage find. So 97 is when they put in the, put in their garage. So that's why I put the it's got the OG license plates with that sticker. So the stickers don't look like that anymore. So that's why I put it on the front of the car. So I don't have to put a newer sticker on it. But uh, yeah, it sat in their garage for 20 years. And uh, one day at Christmas, I was like looking at, looking at cars for sale. And uh, my girl was like, what are you looking at? And I showed her and she's like, oh, my aunt and uncle have that car. I'm all this car right here. She goes, yeah, this one right here. Yeah. And sure enough, uh, they were like, yeah, we have that car. It's in our garage. Did, did they know you were a Honda Acura guy? They knew I was a mechanic. They knew I worked on cars, but they didn't know like this. And then uh, one day they were, well, they were like, yeah, just come by the house and check it out. Bring a trailer. And I'm like, I'll buy it off you. So I went over there with a the trailer. We pulled it out and I was like, it was, it was clean. Time capsule. Yes. Time capsule. All right, which by the way, okay, when I say Honda Acura guy, that's kind of an understatement. Like this is Jason's shop here, okay? There's one, two, three, four, five NSXs here and a bunch of Civics and a bunch of awesome Hondas. Um, but this, is so cool that you you got it in this condition how many miles were on it when you bought it there is there was a hundred and i don't even know i think it's like one hundred seventy thousand or one hundred and fifty thousand or something so it was still well used yes it was their family car they were the original owners it was the brother owned it then he gave it to his brother which is her aunt and uncle and it just it just stayed in the family so when i got it it's same thing. I just kept in the family. If it wasn't this clean, I probably wouldn't have done one. This, it, it's so hard to find parts for these cars. Right. So why is it that they parked it and didn't use it for that many years? Because it came with a carburetor motor and they overheated it. <laughs> That's it? That's it. And then they're like, it. instead of selling it or whatever, they're just like, let's park it. Yeah, they parked it. Huh. Okay. And they put it under non-op, so when I registered it, it was like 80 bucks. No way. <laughs> All right, so uh, there's not that many of these left, huh? Not in good condition. It's really hard. It's really hard to find, to find the parts. It's really hard to find anything that's worth building. You know, it's like the CRX. You can find them, but they're gonna be, they're gonna be torn apart and really worn down. And then to find the parts for them is really hard. Yeah, and this is, if you guys watch this channel, you know this theme that I bring up pretty much almost every other video. The fact of the matter is, this was a pedestrian car for somebody to use as their daily driver. It was a lot of people's first cars, right? And it was just something that you go onto a, a dealership lot like that. May, wait, so maybe it came from, uh, do you know where it came from? Um, How funny would it be if it was bought right there, Honda of Pasadena, and it made it over here all these years ago? Oh, wow. You still have all of the original manuals and stuff? Yeah, it, 
it what's funny is it came with I actually had the the audio tape that it came with from the dealership. Really? It came with like a cassette tape? Yeah, it came with a cassette audio tape of your purchase. <laughs> this is your new Honda vehicle. This is how to maintain it. Wow, that's cool. Um, so that's the thing is, um, uh, back to my point about pedestrian cars. Why would anyone want to save this car back then? You know, it was just a ugly old Honda. If you had something like this. You would think they would have got rid of it. Yeah, they would have jumped they it would, or yeah, they would have exactly. fixed it or something. Yeah. But in their heart, for whatever reason, they probably forgot about it. But, but someone like yourself, you know, it's just, it means so much to have something like this. Well, yeah, because when I went over there, I saw it. I was like, I'll take it. What do you want for it? And he's like, no, nah, you can have it. And I was like, no, I'll give you money for it. And her uncle was like, it's not, it's not the money I want. It's in the family. You can just have it. it, it they, they probably didn't realize that it was worth well, anything. Well, now that they see it, they're like, hey, can we get our car back? <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, no. <laughs> um, yeah, because now they realize that it's worth something. You couldn't even find anything like this. No, it's, it's hard. Yeah. So. Tell us, what, what did you do? You pulled out the original motor. So I bought a 87 Integra and uh, I bought it in San Diego from some guy that's like, hey, I don't have the key. I don't have the registration and whatever. He's all, so I bought it and I bought it because I wanted the motor and the drivetrain. So it has the Integra rear disc brakes, the Integra front disc brakes, the motor, tranny, and then I threw the car away, the Integra. So that's pretty much how I got this whole changeover. It's the only way you can do it. I see, and you wanted to get that motor. What is this motor? A ZC. And the reason why is because you could carburate it. The reason why is because it, this is factory mounts. It bolts right into this car. You don't have to use innovative mounts or anything like that. This is what the car came with originally was this motor. So back when we were going to the Ontario street races, this is what I had in our car on direct port nitrous racing all the V8s and we were blowing them up and then you could go to the wrecking yard and buy them and put them right back in the car again. Yeah, but now it's pretty hard, I'm sure, to find something yeah, it's like this super, in good condition. Yeah, I, so I had to take this one and rebuild it because they're not available, you know. So now it's just you got to take care of what you got because you, you ain't going to find parts for it anymore. Yeah, it's kind of the same thing with all the NSXs that you're working on. So um, just quickly for those of uh, the viewers who don't know, what do you do here at Genesis? Um, we are a Honda Acura repair shop, general, general repairs. We also do specialize in the NSXs and higher end cars, but the main, the main of it is uh, just general, just general mechanics. Um, I do come from a background of performance dealership world and working on these NSXs for uh, over 15 years. All right, so you actually worked on the NSXs when they were new. Yep. And then now you're working them on them as like classic. They're, they're classics. Yeah, they're classics. <laughs> um, the irony. Uh, so, so like the, the the cool thing to me is that you love what you do, and you're obviously passionate about uh, Hondas. Um, so, that's the, you got the motor. What else? What else? All the things. You even have a genuine Honda battery here. <laughs> um. So. I hunted down a TWM intake manifold, which was one of the hardest things to find for uh, this car because it, I, you know, to put carburetors. Um, I know everybody's going to criticize that I have Weber's on here and not the Makunis. The reason why I went with Weber's is because I bought them brand new in the box and they make all the parts for them still. When I talked to McCooney, they said they haven't made a side draft in like 14 years. So to find parts and to rebuild them, I didn't want the headache. So I just went with, you know, Weber's. 
Hmm. So, um, you know, uh, switched it out with this is a old this is an '87 head, which it doesn't have the the Vance uh, the vacuum Vance that normally comes on these motors, and these motors usually come with a distributor or a, a not a distributor but a coil that's external, and I wound up putting an internal, so it's got a kind of more modern style, keep it clean looking. So it has an MSD programmable in it for like my computer, I guess you could say. Hmm. What about the suspension? The suspension is teen. Um, it's the only one that they make for this car aftermarket. So it has, and then the camber kit is from Cheddar Auto. Uh, no one really makes anything for it. So that's all that's available. Um, I have upgraded torsion bars in it. I have uh, the Panhard bar in the rear. I have the disc brakes. It has the teen, the teen shocks in the rear. Um, it has the sway bar in the rear. It's got bushings in it. Whatever I could do to upgrade the suspension part of it, I did. Hmm. What's this setup here? Like fuel? Fuel, and then that's just a vacuum box. That's all it is. So the carburetors are pulling. So basically, you have to run vacuum to the brake booster. So instead of the brake booster pulling vacuum from one carburetor, it's pulling them from all four. So it doesn't try to lean out just one, one carburetor. So. Hmm. How much power does, so this is, how much power did the original motor make? And how much power does this make? I think the original one made like maybe a hundred, maybe. Um, it does have, I do have webcams in it and I do have springs and retainers in it. Um, I think I'm probably making like a hundred and 35 maybe I haven't really gotten a tune I don't have a header for it because I can't find a header so right now it's just stock I'm trying to locate an aftermarket header but or you might have to make get one made yeah, custom yeah. huh yeah so I mean uh, a d16 fits on there but it has to be modified but it does it does bolt onto it so yeah Honda no er, Honda nerds rejoice like this thing is just it's so cool in so many ways. Um, tell me about the wheels. This is a big centerpiece of the car, huh? Um, it did have Mugens on it. Nothing against the Mugen wheels. It had the CF48s on it. I really didn't, uh, I didn't, I didn't, I liked it, but I didn't like it. Um, I saw these and I wanted to do the racing hearts. It's kind of like the Euro look, but I like it. I mean, it's of era, yeah. right? And it, it actually fits this car so well. Because um, I think um, it, it kind of reminds me of like the some of the stock um, Civic SIR wheels, right? Yes. That looked like that, with, but the holes were a lot smaller. Right, right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what yeah. you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. the Civic SI. The, yeah. Yeah. It actually reminds me of that, but I, I think that's super cool. Um, what else have you done body-wise? Um, the only thing different is uh, it has the, the Honda Option rear wing, which is the factory wing. It's all foam. What? It's kind of like a Porsche whale tail. Yeah, and it material. says Civic underneath of it. Whoa. This is probably, um, if any Honda guy knows, this is like the unicorn. Yeah. It's to find this wing. No way. This is. It's in relatively pretty good condition. Oh yeah, there you go. Now I can see it. It says Civic on it. Oh yeah. So these are the kind of parts like, why is it that Honda always has parts like this where it's like one, the only one in existence 
and you've seen it in some Japanese catalog one time, uh, and of course you have it. Why is it that Hondas in general have stuff like this? I have, I have no idea. I, I don't remember ever seeing this as a U.S. option. It was always a Japanese option. And the only way I came across this is because there's a wrecking, a Honda wrecking yard that it, we use up in Sun Valley. And uh, they called me and said, hey, we have a Civic, the same as yours, if you need parts for it. So they sent me a picture of it. It had the wing on it. And I'm like, I'm like, is that the wing? And I'm like, hey, take a picture of the wing for me underneath. And it said Civic. I was like, I'll be right there. I'll buy the whole car. So my, me and my employee took off, went over there, um, bought the car and drove it back, overheating and everything, freaking made it back here. And I bought, I bought the whole entire car just for the wing. No way. You couldn't tell them, hey, I just want to take the wing. They didn't want, they didn't want to just, they didn't want to part the car out. They just wanted the car gone. So I bought the whole entire car for the wing. <laughs> That's a new one. I, I've heard, you know, I bought the car for the wheels or I bought the car for the interior but I haven't heard uh, anything like bought the car for just one piece. But it's crazy because this is something that's like, it's like kind of weathered, it's deteriorating. I don't know if there's a way to, to salvage this at all. Um, there is, it's a lengthy process, but um, I would like to get it redone, absolutely. Cause it's trying to get it done and it still, it still flexes. You know what I mean? It's not like you use Bondo or fiberglass, any, you know what I mean? So they can redo it. I mean, you should at least get a mold of this for now. Yeah, yeah to save it. Because yeah, cool. honestly, I've definitely never seen anything like this. But this is the fun thing I like about Honda guys in general. I know you, you know exactly what I'm talking about, right? Like um, a good buddy of ours, uh, uh, Mickey uh, Andre, who has built a lot of Hondas. He went out of his way or, or, or um, th there's so many people that we've met like him who will spend all this money on stupid things, but very important things or things that mean a lot to Honda guys like uh, first aid kits or like little accessories like keyless entries that are infrared. Oh, yeah. You know, from the 90s. Those things just kind of, I don't know, make it special in a way. Oh, yeah. I'm all, I, I. I bought three of these center consoles just to try to find one that was all complete. So it's, it's, I guess it goes with the hunt. You know what I mean? Trying to hunt it down or trying to find it or trying to find leads to find something. Like they make a, a mat that goes on there and it says Honda on it and it's a rubber mat. That's probably one of the most rarest things to find. And that's no way. Like, and it's just something so simple. And, and yeah. And it's like, and the thing is, it's like, it's one of those things where it's like, if they said, oh, a thousand bucks, you'd be like, well, it's a thousand bucks. No is, way. You know what I mean? It's like, it is what it is. No way. Because mind you, I almost bought this wing off of somebody else for 1800. Wow. I, and I wound up buying it for, uh, I bought the whole car for 800 and then I sold the car for... 400 and then it had it it did have a header on it and i sold that thing for like 200 bucks <laughs> you made your money back <laughs> i was like okay um uh, let me let's talk about the interior i'm gonna go on this side see that's the thing is i i've been lucky enough to shoot so many cars and uh i've been lucky enough to kind of experience so many cars that i, I seriously knew right away how special this thing was when I saw it and to hear the story behind it, it makes it even more uh, special. Um, so let's go through the interior. Any, like this is pretty cool, it's Momo steering wheel. That's a Momo. Um, it is stamped 1984 on it. So it is era correct. The pad does pop off on it. So it, people don't really notice it because it does look factory. So it kind of blends in. Um, it does have the factory radio, um, still have it, um, got the, got the tape holder for it. This is a rare piece, huh? Yeah. With the, oh, wow. So. <laughs> this is so cool. Like, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Like, this is something that 
could have just been thrown away at any moment, any yeah. other time. It's just trying to find like little things. Like, like I guess what's cool is like, here, come over here real quick. Uh-huh. Watch, I'll show you. Like this was a little cool feature, like, like the seats recline in the back. And then the, it also slides. Whoa. I, for, wow. So a lot of people didn't know that. So, you know, because it is a recliner. Oh, I didn't so know that. So you can actually. I didn't know that. It's just so much functionality, <laughs> right? Um, I know like, for example, like the, the uh, uh, glove box on the CRX is like two stages, yeah. right? Just like this. Yeah. So it would open and it opens a little bit. So not, not everything falls out. Then Correct. you can kind of guide it down. Um, little things like that kind of, I guess it's just the, it's special. What, what's going on with the starter? It's my key. Oh, that's, that's your key. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it's a snap-on key. That's awesome. Um, does the clock still work? Oh, awesome. That still works. You still have tape too, huh? Yeah. What's that? Oh, that's the exhaust. That's the fuel pump. Oh, that's. Oh. Huh. Anything else? The interior is pretty much stock. I didn't really, I didn't really go too, too crazy on it. There wasn't anything to really do. I don't. I'm trying. I don't want it to be gaudy looking. You know what I mean? Cause they do make a lot of stuff for this and you can get, but it can start to be overwhelming. Yeah, but like the seats are in good condition. This, the door panels are in really good condition. Good luck finding another one yeah. like this, right? Um, you know, like I have the front and rear mud flaps on it. Um, just, you know, just try to keep it as like tasteful as possible, kind of simple. I mean, I know it doesn't draw a lot of attention because it's kind of simple. So a lot of people overlook it, but it is what it is, you know? Can we go for a drive? Absolutely. C can I drive it? Absolutely. Oh, I, t I can't wait. So I, I, drove, um, I drove that Mini today, right? Yeah, I think it's gotta be stupid. It was too much power. It was like, it, it, even in second gear, it would just spin both, oh, yeah. both I can tires. Only imagine. Yeah. So everything still works. All of this Except still works. Except for the TAC, I haven't hooked it up to the MSD. Everything else works. But the MSD basically allows you to have like a rev limiter and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't, uh, so Eric's Racing is the one that I'm having work on it, like tuning it. So right now I don't know if it has a rev limiter. All right, I, I want to drive fast. I just, I just wanted to try it. Oh, and no power steering, of course. Heck no. Yeah, for a front wheel drive. Is this super low? No. I'll still angle it. So um, I actually learned how to drive in a Integra, a DA. Oh. And so, so they're really easy to drive as like a learning car, right? But. I've never driven a Civic like this. It sounds pretty cool though with, with the carbs. Like that's like the main thing that you notice right away. Well, what's funny is uh, when you go to car meets and you pop the hood, Everyone's all, oh, I like the ITVs. <laughs> they have no idea what carburetors yeah. are. So I'm like, yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> nice ITVs. Yeah. I like that throaty sound. Oh, yeah. The, that, that sound is great. It's just. I mean, you it's could, so different. You could basically just floor this all over the place all the time from every stoplight and no, nobody will look at you weird. <laughs> it's a, it's a very unique sound. Yeah. Yeah. Car, 
Yeah, carburetors are a lot different than yeah. everything else. Man, it drives really nice. Damn, this thing is fun. How often do you drive this thing? I've had it for five years and put 578 miles so far. That's oh, it's it. 100, how much? 138, that's how many miles are on it. How come you don't drive it that often? Uh, I don't know. It is, it truly is a time capsule. What's funny is like, if this thing ever got in an accident, I wouldn't fix it because it would be too much money and I wouldn't give anybody the privilege of buying the parts because it was too hard for me to find them. I'd just burn it to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> or you could get another chassis and move everything over. It's, it's like, man, like the carpet doesn't even have holes in it. Wow. Hmm. You know, this, this kind of reminds me of watching those old videos like of LA, like LA in 1985, oh, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. And it's like, it's just somebody's like random for whatever reason they thought it would be a good idea to, um, to just drive around and film the streets, you know, yeah. for whatever reason. And I just love watching those videos because you could do just the best car spotting. Um, and you could see cars like this when they were brand new, just on the streets. And uh, it's, it's, it's pretty cool to be able to kind of experience this. It drives really nice. I rarely take it to car meets. I rarely take it out. Whenever I go to car meets, I wind up going with Anthony in his car. In the NSX? Yeah. Thank you so much for letting me try this thing out. And there's Lewis and he's excited. Um, this thing is so cool. It is a time capsule. It just, I just couldn't imagine back in 1985 driving this brand new on the street. Right. You know, what kind of feeling would it give you? Maybe not uh, what it's given us today. Like it's nostalgia right now. And also it's just fun for me, but who knows? Maybe if it was a new car for somebody, they'd be like, oh, I can't believe I'm stuck in this thing. I, I wish I could drive an NSX or, 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 or not, not NSX, but it's like. It's funny because I think about it, I'm like, man, who would drive this to Vegas in the middle of summer? <laughs> yeah, because there's no AC. No AC. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, uh, that's this 1985 Honda Civic hatch. It's um, something else. Thank you so much again for watching. Uh, make sure to check out LarryChenPrints.com. You'll find art prints, you'll find large format prints that I print myself. I sign each one and each one comes with a Peeker sticker, which I need to actually give you some stickers. So this is just of me in cartoon form, see? That's pretty of cool. Of me taking pictures. Yeah. And uh, you don't have to put it on your car, but you can put it on a toolbox or something like that. Um, but yeah, if you guys order anything off that site, it always comes with Peaker stickers and I always throw in some extras. So thank you guys so much for the support. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.